Last week, Shelby and I commented on the craziness of episode 6 of a reality TV show we're competing on called RV Unplugged, a show where 10 couples are divided into two teams and compete against each other to avoid elimination and fight for their chance to win the grand prize of $25,000. The newest episode 7 aired on Wednesday, and Shelby and I are excited to share our feelings about almost getting voted off the show, along with some of the challenges that took place this week and some of Shelby's awesome dance moves in her special new costume. Welcome to the Bimble Effect. We're Jack and Shelby, and this is our channel. We're about to drop some heat on this last episode. So if you haven't watched it, you might want to get caught up first. So you might want to go back and check it out. You can find the show at the RV Unplugged YouTube channel. You can also find it on the web, on the main website, which is rvunpluggedtv.com. In addition, it's streaming on a streaming service called RVTV. Uh, it's a pretty cool streaming service. It's all RV related, but there's a bunch of shows, some additional content only on RV related topics. So it's pretty nice. You might want to check that out too. It's RVTV. Blue team, you will have a vote off. So episode seven started with a late night vote off for Team Blue. And things did not really go in our favor. At this point for the vote, there's four couples left on the blue team. Jack and Shelby, Kevin and Tabitha, Talmich and Ashanti, and Aaron and Archer. They gave us a few minutes to deliberate as a team over in the Big Beard Battery Tent. Then each couple had a chance to go into the Airstream to cast their vote as to which couple they'd banish from the game. Now Shelby and I had a pretty good idea of how each couple was going to vote. Talmich wasn't going to play scared, so if he thought somebody had a pass, he was going to vote them off. And since Shelby and I had our shot in the pass room, although we didn't get anything, we kind of figured Talmich and Ashanti would be voting for us out of fear that we might have that pass. But he has too much power. So I'm going to force him to use it, his park pass. She probably don't feel the same way that I do, but it don't matter to me. Um, I can't sit here and keep playing this game with someone that has a lot of power. Kevin and Tabitha had the exact opposite opinion. Being the ones who had the power in the past and voted somebody else off, the Tullisons, they knew that if they would vote us off and we had the pass, we could turn around and kick them right out of the game. So they weren't going to take that risk. I'm not going to vote for somebody who can immediately recoil it on me. And I want to keep our, our team as strong as possible. And Aaron, Aaron is fantastically strong individually. But at the same time, I think it is beneficial to us to possibly um, vote for Aaron. I'm a little worried today. Um, I think the challenges are starting to get very couple oriented. Um, so it's making, uh, I'm, at, I'm, I'm definitely at a disadvantage and I can see how some other members of the team uh, could see that. Aaron said it perfectly right there. There are times he feels a bit at a disadvantage and in fact, that makes the whole team feel like they're at a disadvantage. And it's been true through a few of the challenges during the game. So Shelby and I have cast our vote in that direction to help balance out both the blue and the red teams. We voted for Aaron and Archer in the past. We're gonna do it again this time. Jack and I have been on the same page from the beginning um, in our thoughts. And I think that will stick to our original plan. All right, so we're gonna stick to what we did the first time for the reasons we said? Mm-hmm. Trying to even things out. We vote Aaron and Archer. So the votes went the way we thought they would. Shelby and I voted for Aaron and Archer. Kevin and Tabitha voted for Aaron and Archer. Talmich and Ashanti voted for Jack and Shelby. And Aaron voted for Jack and Shelby. Yeah, so that's where things get a little crazy. That meant we had a tie. We have a tie. Now again, if we have a tie, we'll cast a revote. If at the second vote, we're in a tie again, I will bring the chest up here and I will simply choose one piece of paper and that will be the individual who will be unplugged. Well, that's what happened. We all voted again and it came back a tie. So Todd came back with the box and he was prepared to pull out a name at random and that's who's going home. Maybe not a vote off of strategy, but one of luck. So it looks like our RV Unplugged Lives are down to a 50-50 coin toss to see if we're going to stick around.
no joke, the tension here was real. Uh, in fact, there was one point just before Todd read the name that I actually was holding my breath until he spoke the words. The person who will be unplugged. Aaron and Archer. 50-50 chance and somehow we pulled it off. It's like we say, we feel lucky every day. Luckiest people in the world. So it looks like we're going to be around for at least one more day. And let's take a look at the way Shelby and I felt after this vote off. That night, very late. I mean, we were approaching midnight after a very long day. Uh, but we still sat down in our rig after we got cleaned up. And we wanted to share with you some thoughts on the day. So let's go back to that faithful day of the vote off and kind of relive some of our thoughts. Here comes some comments about the vote off. Yes. All right. So this just happened. The vote off just happened. We it came, was bittersweet. We came back to our rig, showered, and put on our usual robes and our Disney, Disney our t-shirts, GMEs, and cowboy hats. That we, yeah. Which is what we are want to do after a good shower. Um, tonight yeah. we thought we deserved a little uh, uh, eight ounce shower. So yeah. the vote off uh, was. Let me tell you, that's very, very difficult. Very difficult, especially when you see your name written on a piece of paper. The first time we saw our names written on yeah. a piece of paper. Um, it's hard to, to see it written down where you could be voted off. So this vote, this vote off, as you probably saw, uh, wound up being a tie between us and Archer and Aaron. A double tie. They had to redo it, and it came out a tie for the second time. Right. Um, we, we have kind of just, uh, uh, um, we, we stuck to the way we, we've been voting since the beginning yeah. with, with Aaron and Archer. And uh, it's like I told Aaron, once this was all done, um, he has brought a sense of chill to our team. He's amazing. He's amazing. It permeates our him. team. He's a great person, a great guy. Uh, what he's achieving, getting the word out is word out about service dogs. He's very, very caring and motivating. And, and, and what I've learned about the service dogs, I, I mean, I'll, I'll spread that to everyone I know. Uh, we're dog lovers. Uh, we do have grand dogs. We, we voted for Aaron just as a means of, of attempting to possibly balance things out uh, to avoid confusion uh, on future challenges. Yeah. Uh, the great thing about the blue team is there's no hard feelings. We, we kind of talk with each other. Uh, we talk at each other. Uh, we don't talk behind each other. No. Uh, any conversations that might happen behind each other then wind up happening directly to, to each other before each other. we even vote. Exactly. Uh, that's not. We're not. We're not telling each other who we're voting for. We're not necessarily doing things like that. Uh, we don't share no. so everybody understands who's vo who's getting voted out. We're not doing straws. Nothing no. like that. However, our communication is direct. Yes. Uh, for better or worse. I think there could be other ways to do it that might be more tactical. Yeah, definitely. But possibly more conniving. And, and I just don't think that's Team Blue. Uh, we'll just have a different approach to it. Yeah. And we'll see how it all works out. So, oh, uh, well, well, we did get lucky. So since there was a double tie, it had to go to a special <laughs> um, voting arrangement where it was just by chance, 50-50. Our name was either going to be John or Aaron and Archer's name was going to be drawn, and we were fortunate enough in to not be the name drawn that was sent home tonight. So we feel really blessed and lucky and hoping to get a good night's sleep and start fresh in the morning, come out and kick some butt. So I'm going to comment one more comment on this because, as you saw, we did not get a, well, what's it called? We Pass. don't talk about that right now. Yeah, we do. This Why? is the time we talk about it because we just had the vote off. This, yeah, this but that's for the future game. We don't we don't talk about right that. We talk about the vote off. We don't talk about that was part of the vote off. No, this is all, we yes. don't talk about whether we have a golden key or not. There's no such thing as a golden key. There is now. Do we have a golden ticket? I always have a golden ticket key. So, do we have the golden egg? I always have a golden egg. So, no, we have to talk about that. That's part of it. It's also part of our strategy. I kind of feel like that's not the right time to talk about it right now. You catch my drift? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk about it, but I could do this. <laughs> that's a different chat. Right. 
Well, then I'm still going to make a last comment. Gosh. All right. Guys, come here. So I'm going to make a last comment. Oh, <laughs> I actually didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> really? Well, that's weird when your hand comes up and physically strikes the back of my brain. Didn't mean that at all. Didn't mean that. Imagine every car accident ended that way. Seriously. Gosh. Oh, I really did. All that. right. So <clears throat> I just got physically struck. Um, this is it's a little bit a of hu day. husband abuse. It's really, really. Again, I just want to make day. one last comment on this. Here, here comes my last comment, my last diary comment. Everybody knows there's always not one more comment. I mean, everybody knows that if your one comment. Oh, I'm so tired. Leads to a million comments. Here's my Disney shirt. Here oh. it comes. Sorry, editors. So uh, tonight we voted for Aaron and Archer. Yes. And another couple voted for Aaron and Archer. Yes. At this point, you might know who that is. In addition, there were two couples that voted for us. Um, we believe we know who it is. Yes. Um, and and it was our first time see seeing our names on paper. Uh, it happened twice. We had to go back in. We had to go back in and revote <clears throat> to see if anyone would switch to make Amazing. it a majority. That didn't happen, so it was a tie. As you saw first time in season two, that tie went down to luck of the draw. So Todd drew. He pu put his hand in there and pulled it out, and I could not tell by by the paper he was holding whose name was on the paper. Right. So it was really bizarre. It was a weird feeling to know that a 50-50 chance could be sending us off the show. Yes. Uh, but I, I, if we were voted off tonight, and if we had to leave, I mean... We've I, had a great time. I probably, I don't, I don't know if I would have cried. I don't know how I would have handled it. I could get emotional. Uh, I'm just so happy to be here. Yeah. And the fact that, I mean, today was my birthday. Oh, yeah. Happy uh, birthday. Everyone has been so very gracious to me on my birthday. We even got cupcakes. Now, today's my birthday. I don't know if any of you out there get a little weirded out when it's your birthday. I do love getting the messages from people. I love the pats on the backs, free cupcakes. Who doesn't like that stuff? Uh, but on a TV show, I, I thought it was going to be all weird. They did it so great, so graciously. Yeah. It wasn't over and above. You know, no one deserves for all that business to be on them all at once. And uh, But instead, it was done just so good, and we had a lot of fun with it. So, And then Shelby and I were lucky enough to get the 50-50 to go in our direction. Yeah. And because of that, we're still here. Um, yes. So if anyone that, that, if you're watching this, as you're watching this, yeah. you'll see that we're not still here solely because of skill, yeah. uh, strength, it's smarts. There's luck involved with this too, yes. Uh, yes. which kind of makes us all realize that we're, we're going through it together over here. There's some luck involved over and above the skill. Definitely. Tomorrow we get to say goodbye to um, Aaron and Archer and uh, send them off and, gosh, see what yeah. the rest of the day holds in store. Yeah, now it's it's definitely <clears throat> getting real. The teams are down to, I believe, three teams each. Um, I believe we have another elimination tomorrow, so we definitely need to get some rest so we can wake up spry. Have a good night. So the next day, the six remaining couples headed out to Auburndale Speedway. Looks like we're going to be working with Henderson Lineup to put a new super steer system on the Doves RV. And since we were going to be getting greasy, proper attire was required. We knew right from the beginning this was going to be a fun challenge, and it really was. I was so proud of Shelby, she was working like a real mechanic under there, and I think she loved it too. Well, maybe all except for one thing. I found the bolt, everybody! I think five pounds of brake dust or whatever it's called, I have no idea. It's still in my eyeballs, my ears, my hair, and my mouth, but other than that, it was a great experience. Shelby's right, other than the road dust, this was an awesome challenge. Plus, we all got to work together, both teams, red and blue, working together so that we could all get a great shower after this challenge was over. It really was one of the better challenges of the competition. Now here's a little behind the scenes that they didn't show you in the episode. At the end of the day, they asked both teams to pick three individuals from each team that were gonna race, 
Now, we obviously thought this was going to be some type of a motor race or a car race because we are on a motor speedway. So the guys on the blue team got together and decided to be gentlemen and allow the girls an opportunity for an amazing car race around the track. But we were all wrong with our assumptions. It turned out our chivalry saved our lives. The people who were chosen to race were going to be asked to dress up in some ridiculous costumes and speed walk down the speedway like fools. Honestly, it was all in good fun, and it was a perfect way to end a great, long day of competition. And then Shelby and Ashanti capped it off in the best way I could possibly think. Interpretive dance as frogs. Well, if you enjoyed spending time with us, and we hope that you did, we sure would like for you to come along for the ride. So feel free to subscribe and join us on our next adventures. We'll have some fun together, I promise.